Right, I'm a bit late to start this video. Uh, I cracked on before I remembered to record it. But anyway, uh, MGZR. Um, hey God. <coughs> oh, damn hay fever. Anyway, um, I got a call from the owner to say it was in for a motor at a garage near them. It failed miserably. Um, emissions, um, brakes, exhaust, etc. So I went and picked it up yesterday, um, got it back here. The exhaust had a blow in a join, so all I did was undo it. Obviously put some new gasket on and some sealer, sealed that up, job done. Emissions I can't test yet obviously because I don't have a machine, but I'm guessing A, the leaky exhaust was part to play and also because it hasn't gone anywhere for a long time, so it needs a good drive really. Other problem was the brakes. Um, the near side brake was dragging and the hand brake had no effect and the service brake, as in just the normal rear brakes, had no effect. Well, that caliper was seized solid. So I whipped that off, freed that up and put it back on. So with any luck, that will now be free. Um, hopefully it won't seize on again. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, as you can see, because the wheels are still off. Uh, the only issue, other issue they've got is a starting problem. Now, I know they've had this for a long time and they've chased it, they've changed sensors, they've checked all the timing, etc. Um, I have just double checked the timing while I was here just to make sure that seems all right. So I will demonstrate now what happens. Hang on. see it's a nightmare to start and it doesn't run very nice so something's untoward um, I'm gonna check start and I'm gonna check fuel um, but as I say they've changed all of that I believe so I don't really know what it is there's no ECU light on the dash no codes so I really don't know I've got spare ECUs and things, so I can try those, but it's not really come in for that problem. It's come in to get an MOT, but I don't know if this is gonna affect it. Once it's running, it's, all, it's kind of all right, but if it's if it's got a, a fuel or a spark problem, I'm, I'm wondering whether the um, emissions might be something to do with that, but I suppose all I can do is get it running, take it for a test, see if I can get it through the emissions. Um, if not, back to the drawing board. So, at least the exhaust is quietened down there anyway. That's one thing done. Right, so I'm having a little look at this. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but when you unplug this coil pack, it dies, right? Which you'd expect, because that runs two cylinders. All right, so let's fire it up again. this coil pack it doesn't really change much and it carries on running I think I should change that and see what happens right we've got the coil pack changed old one's down there I've stopped for a cup of tea let it cool down a little bit so let's see the moment of truth I don't know 
know because because it was warm um but it's still not idling right something's still not right somewhere i think it might be an electrical gremlin um there are some joins on wires on the um coil pack wiring so i don't know i don't really want to start getting into a trying to trace the loop i just want to get it mot'd and get it out of the way to be honest um as i say the previous owner well I say the previous owner, the current owner has previously gone through everything but i don't know it's a shame it's only got fifty thousand miles on it just need to find that problem Right, I think we're going to have to leave it to cool right down um, and then see how it starts afterwards. So I think that will do for the moment. Right, it's a new morning. It's cold. Let's see. I'm not holding much hope, but you never know. the coil pack then right so natural progression was if the coil pack didn't do a great deal when you unplugged it and we've changed the coil pack and that hasn't made much difference then next thing is the spark plugs as far as i was aware they'd all been changed but actually when i took one out it was missing its little nib so i've replaced all the spark plugs it still won't start well it does you know what i mean it still won't, won't start straight away but it failed its MOT on emissions and the rear caliper, again. Obviously I took the rear caliper off, unseized it, that was fine. Before, it just wouldn't work at all. There was no foot brake on the caliper, no handbrake on the caliper. Now there's a foot brake, but no handbrake still. So the ratchet mechanism is obviously knackered in that. So I've got a new caliper coming for that. Emissions. While I was there, because I didn't have a test afterwards, I said, do you mind if I just chuck some plugs in it and then we'll see what the emissions are like afterwards. Put some plugs in it. It didn't run any better, really, but it flew through the emissions. Um, it did sound like it was missing to start with, and it doesn't quite sound like a misfire now, but we have still got a problem. So I've got to go for a retest for the rear caliper. I'm waiting for it to be delivered, um, and then it, that's legal and passed and available to go on the road. The running issue, obviously, um, their supercomputer said it was the camshaft, uh, their snap-on plug-in thing. There's no codes on the dash, sorry, no light on the dash, but um, the computer said problem with the camshaft sensor. So obviously that has the dodgy wiring that was has been cut and joined. I have checked the continuity of that, and that, that join is fine. So I have told the customer they need a new camshaft sensor, or at least to try one. Um, so... Um, Obviously, you can get them on eBay for nowhere near as much as what local factors are. So the customers decided they are going to go that route. So for me today, it's just to get the caliper redone um, and then get it back for a retest. And then this is us done. Right. Well, I'm just adding this in because I completely forgot to finish that video. Um, it's got its MOT. It got retested. No problem at all. Um, and has now been collected by the customer. So that is this one done. Um, 
if I find out if they put a new sensor in and it all started running properly, I'll let you know. But other than that, I will leave this one here. So thanks for watching. Um, I know it's not uh, a very in-depth video, but it's just day-to-day -day workings of what goes on. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in another video.